Sunrise Senior Living here in Scottsdale won't tell me the exact number of COVID-19 cases they have inside their facility. And according to families of residents here, they're not being told the exact numbers either. Now, one woman believes had the state and the corporate company been more proactive, her mom would not be on her deathbed in the hospital. I will forever live with the regret that, you know, you know, my mom could have had um, a good time. You know, she could have lived longer. Marine Delente's 91 year old mom, Alice, has lived at the Sunrise Senior Living Facility for over a year. Two weeks ago, her mom was still sharp as a tack. On April 25th, Marine says the facility called and said they had a positive case of coronavirus inside, but no further testing would be done. The answer was we're not going to test. Um, it's not required. Um, certainly not required by the state of Arizona or the public health department and not required by corporate. Alice's doctor tells us he was told residents could only be tested if their outside doctor coordinated it. My brother and, and I made a decision that we needed to get her out of there right away. But it was too late. Her mom had already been exposed. She's expected to pass away in the next couple hours or by tomorrow. I feel like my heart's in um, shattered in a million pieces. Marine says the state should have mandated testing many weeks ago and believes if she had case information sooner, she could have saved her mom. I know my mom would be proud. So I'm doing it for you, mom. <laughs> And uh, if you can't speak, I'm going to be your voice. Sunrise says they're following the guidance of the state public health officials who have not recommended any additional steps. Now, the health department says in the next two weeks, they plan to test all residents and staff at nearly 150 long term care facilities across the state. But they say that data will not be made public, which is why our TV station and others across the valley are suing the state for that information. Reporting in Scottsdale tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's family.